I'd like to find the road we roam together, swinging along, finding the long way home. We didn't mind the time or place for weather, singing a song, finding the long way home. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day, dear. What is going on explorers? What a magical location. Check out this old gem. Now as you saw from those opening shots, this old girl sitting way out in a field. And it's um, kind of been just cut off and isolated from the dirt track I drove up and forgotten about. Standing right under a big old pine, uh, pine cone tree here. And there are sheds out the back too, I noticed. Yeah, there's a few. Well, at first glance, I think this is an early 1900s build because of the little louver roof up there. But it's a, it's a symmetrical villa or a large cottage, but it's got a return veranda I did notice. Check it out. Oh yeah, it's actually... That back part may have been an add-on, but it's actually a pretty large home, guys. You can see all the gutterings filled up with pine needles there. But still holding on. Very, very windy today, but there's a bit of a windbreak. Oh, geez, look at all the cobwebs there. There's actually no door handle, but um, yeah, that's locked. That hasn't been opened for a, a long time. 
well. We'll go around this side. Okay, well that window's been opened. Downwards. Yeah, very isolated spot this one too. The flies are starting to hang around again. That looks like an old laundry that's fallen down because there's a big trough still standing there. Well, I can see a bed in there and something else. None of those are snakes, hopefully, no. Check it out there. I think that was the old. Uh... Laundry area. Both of those rain tanks still got the downpipe attached, but they've rusted, so I don't think they'd hold too much water. All right, well, that looks like they've, they've at least had a, an update of the loo. That's definitely for the loo, I think. Hopefully, there's a back door or something open. Whoa. Lots of old pieces of farm kit sitting around too. This is going to be cool. Oh yes, the back door is open. And there's a light up there, and there's the power attached. So it, it did get hooked up to the electricity. We might find an old generator house too, somewhere, but... Now that's an old Beasley, old Beasley hot water service. Let's go in for a look. It's a little retro fan. Straight away I can see a newspaper there. December 1988. It's an agricultural newspaper. A stock journal as well, it says. Well. That's 35 years ago. If my math is correct. Alright, well, this is the bathroom. This is definitely the old bathroom, but um, this tub and pedestal sink looks like it was added in the 60s. There's an old Dettol bottle. It's an actual glass one.
cat photo, cat picture. Actually, that's a calendar. Oops. I don't want to show the top of it because it's got details on it. Yeah, actually doesn't say the date or anything. These pastel colours again. Blue, pinky, mauve, whatever it is. There's a yellow in there. And there's more bluish aqua in here. Oh, this is the big kitchen. Two fireplaces. And again, one lonely chair. <laughs> but that's a classic 70s one, that one, by the look. 50s to 70s. It's a little ornament that's broken. Yeah, I reckon this back section was added not not too long after the actual home was built, but try and find more clues of that. Lots of old dirty newspapers down here. Well, that's 1967, The Chronicle. Yeah, that's 1967. Oh, well, from the 60s. It looks to have been a stove, uh, stove in there, a bit of old cast iron one. It's been removed. And they had that one added. Oh, a little bit of glass on the floor. That's an old Whirlpool. Who makes a Whirlpool? Or is that an actual brand? A Whirlpool Statesman. Product of Mallys Limited. Mallys. There you go. I know you guys will look all that up. Pastel coloured kitchen sink and cabinet. Although I don't see a tap there anywhere. Hmm. Unless, I don't know, there's not even a, uh, there's no tap there guys. Obviously there would be a drain to drain the water, but, hmm, no plumbing into the kitchen. There's another old newspaper there in where the f stove was. The Chronicle again. Um, 1966. Wheat Bix. Oh, that's an oldie. Tie 
tired and weathered. Free cards inside BMX. It's definitely 80s. Oh, okay. Telephone, telephone directory. 1984. So that, that door's a federation door, and these pass throughs were common well into the 1900s. So what's this? Seeing if it's a calendar. No, it's like a telephone, a local telephone directory. What's this little room? I think this is where that the loo, the loo was. Yeah, that's where that plumbing was. Oh yeah. toilet paper, cut up some old rags by the look. Well, there probably originally was an old outhouse. All right. Well, there's an old hat. There's the old bloke's hat. Arnott's, Harper's, Cat Chow. They definitely had cats. Got a cat picture up there. That's all saved new newspapers in those boxes too. Well, so far the home's not falling down. Look at that, that one's pretty well preserved. 1974. Some old bottles. Some old lino. Wow. This is the dining room. The lino is so crunchy and crusty. Yep. Would have had a big old dining table under the light. Lots of food passed through that hutch. There's a, 
your broken window, kind of just moving back and forward there. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that uh, this back section was added around 1920, in the 20s. Maybe even into the 30s. Let's see if I can just maybe put something. stop it banging it's a bit of a hessian that was on the floor yeah that's the return veranda crunch there you'll be able to see the different <clears throat> skirting boards the door trims they are the Victorian era ones oh. just a few old clothes on the on the floor there bird feathers probably a fox or a cat brought a bird in here Queen Elizabeth's coronation. Oh, look at that. 1953. So, yep. Yeah. Who has the lowest prices in town for top quality back to school clothing? The Maya Emporium. the advertiser some old ties and belts there or oh, braces actually old braces couple of old ties now that is some lino it's a roll of lino that maybe they were intending on using All right. So this is the front part, the original cottage part. Well, that's that bed I saw through the window. Now you can see the door trims change here. They've got that old routed, grooved trim. Where this one hasn't. And also back and forth, back and forth. These are Federation doors. 
doors on door handles on the high side. We get in here. You've got the four panel Victorian ones with the old brass doorknobs on the low low side. Some ladies' attire and accessories there, handbag, some slip ons, stockings, that is one of the old metal spring. One's very, very thin mattress as well. Oh, okay. So that one's 1990, March. Some more women's shoes there, slippers. mantle has been taken on that one. Alright, keep looking. Oh, the ceiling's a little bit dodgy in this one. So right, another bed. There's more newspapers down there. Looks like there's some old material, possibly some <coughs> clothes. I can hear pigeons up in the roof. Mantle's gone as well. There's the box to that fan we saw, I think. It's a little single bed. Oh, it still had the plastic covering on it too. On the base. This has got carpet and that ceiling panel is just hanging on. Yeah, that's where the pigeons are. There you go, there's some blue carpet. Another mantle missing. going on in this front room yeah big old those big old windows definitely this front these front four rooms are the original cottage well there's 
no stained glass or coloured glass. May have been at one point. Looks like someone got the old lock as well. Well, unfortunately it looks like this front room's empty as well. Except for an unlucky bird. Well, that's feathers anyway. Well, we have seen the inside, so obviously we'll head outside and see what else we can find. Well, due to a technical malfunction, I'm going to do a bit of a voiceover narration for this next part as we explore out the back here. Yeah, I seem to have accidentally flicked out the uh, external mic lead while I was taking some still shots, but yeah, we head out the back here and there's lots of old pieces of kit and machines out here from yesteryear. A lot of old harvesters. Here's the old home from the back there again. That looks like it's a bit of an old horse-drawn cart there, rusting away. Now that shed was just an old hay shed, still with a bit of hay in there. Nothing to see there, really. I've kind of condensed this part down a little bit as well, so there's not as much walking around, a few old drums. That was actually an old wash tub as well. Now this first one's an old sunshine combine harvester. Now you may have seen these in a few other of my videos. The shed's kind of collapsed on this one. can see the front of it here takes the heads off the uh, grain and there's the sunshine panel on the front there still got a little bit of yellow paint from memory if we zoom in there it is there's plenty of um, info on YouTube about these old things and a few of them in action still amazing to see there's a couple of still shots of it. Uh, from memory, I think the seat's missing off this one, and there's another old machine. This one's an even earlier har harvester, from what I could tell. This looks like some sort of separating wheel there. And you've got those two um, steel kind of stirrups at the front. It's probably horse drawn, that one. Here's a, another one. Now this thing, I've seen these before too. It's kind of more like a trailer. There's another view from the side of that other one. That one, definitely older than the first Sunshine one. Still got the same or well, the very similar mechanism. Now I might be wrong. Anyone who wants to correct me in the 
comments, feel free to. Yeah, just sitting out here rotting away. But no doubt they would have worked these fields, these wheat fields, way back when this home was a thriving farm. Full of home cooked meals and hard working farm hands and everything else that goes with old farming. Now this was the old outhouse, guys. A stone built one. There was actually a beehive up on the side of it, so I kind of went around this side, but it's just your old there would have been a hole in the ground originally, guys, and maybe a seat over that bucket later. But that, it's a pretty solid built old thing, but that is a fair way from the home as well. No joy trekking out there. See, look at the home way over there, guys. Now, unless that was a second one, I'm not sure. This little area kind of looks like it was fenced off or sectioned off, maybe a garden patch of some sort. The old corrugated shed here is collapsed and there wasn't really anything in there, a bit of junk. Old cans and tins. I did keep an eye out for any old tobacco tins. But uh, unfortunately, there was none. A lot of them are all rusted anyway, when you find them. And there, I think there was like a bit of hay. Again, probably would have housed a couple of utes or tractors, maybe. Now this shed, way over here, I got the scare of my life when I opened it up because there was a heap of pigeons flying around. Just sitting up on the uh, rafter at the end there. They come and go from where that light's coming through the gap up there at the top. Yeah, very... It was a very, very windy day, so... That's the view from out the back there again. Just a bit of a pan around for where we just walked. And there's an old carport over the side here. And that was pretty much... Well, it was completely empty. I think there was an old crate or something there. Yeah, there it is. And then over at the side of the home is where there was an old laundry or another section of the, that was totally collapsed, blown over. But there's a old tin laundry trough there. So it might have been the original wet rooms to the old home. A few old bottles there. Now when I got over to this side of the home and had a decent look, you can actually tell that uh, the front end of the home, like a lot of these old farmhouses, was originally a symmetrical cottage. And right there you can see the coining where the back of the home would have ended. Now you can really see in the still shots here that the vents are different either side of that coining. And that also backs up that this home was added to at the back there. And there's another shot from the other side of the home, two different vents, and the return veranda door. That's pretty much where they started the add-on from this side. And like a lot of these old homes, and I think a recent upload showed this as well, that when the farm starts prospering and the families grow, they build on and add to it. And I think one of my recent uploads had the same kind of thing where they redid the entire roof once they added a rebuilt uh, part of the home. 
And this one is a perfect example. Well, that is it. We have seen the lot. No doubt a hard-working farming family lived here for a very long time. And as I just mentioned, this front half of the home, definitely the original part, and for the most part, is still in original condition. Obviously the carpets would have been added at some point. And the colour schemes, those pastel colours, very typical of a 60s sprucing up. They seem to have... Uh, these homes, I guess it makes sense around that time, they probably did need a bit of a, a sprucing up. And this back section, the Federation style doors with the handles on the high side and the fireplaces and that pass through. I would say this back section was added around 1920-ish, maybe even around 1925, somewhere within that time frame, guys. But as always, Jump in the comments and let me know what you think about this old girl. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll move on to another one and say thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Alright guys, cheers. Bye. Remember I used to sigh at the end of each day.